You know, one of the most important questions that we could ever ask ourselves in life is, do I really love myself? Now, sometimes people go, oh, that's such a wooey, wooey, esoteric type of a question. Do I really love myself? Of course I do. But do you really? And if you did, how would you know if you did? And if you did, and you know you do, what would your life look like? Well, let me answer a couple of these questions for you, and then you can sort of think about it on your own. Most people, when you ask them right off the top, you know, do you love yourself? Almost everyone would say, of course I do. Yes, I do. But in my work in the past 24 plus years, I've found that that's rarely the case. Do you know why I say that? It's because the words are meaningless when we talk about self-love. What's really meaningful are the actions that we take on a daily basis. So let me explain. Someone who really truly loves themselves would not have addictions that are controlling their lives. And if they did, they'd be in a process of recovery. Number one, that's huge. Number two is that they would be able to accept compliments from other people with grace. Number three, that they would be taking part daily in self-care taking care of themselves in every area of their lives. That means their relationships, their spiritual path, their physical health, their mental health, and emotional health. Throughout the day, they'd be doing things that would lift up and take care of themselves. That would be someone who really loved themselves. So if we go to the first one, addictions, you know, everyone's addicted to something. I guarantee you that that's the truth. But those who love themselves know that they have addictions and they're working on them. So you might be addicted to television or you might be addicted to watching the stock market or you might be addicted to alcohol, nicotine, food, sex, um, gambling, spending money, whatever it might be. But you could really truly you love yourself. You could prove that you love yourself if you're on a path of healing. I'm serious. Isn't that wild? Like to think like, wow, I could be moving through an addiction, trying to let go of an addiction. Maybe it's an addiction to negative thinking. And if I'm in the process and getting help with it, then that's showing love. I don't even have to be rid of the addiction to prove I love myself. Isn't that cool? If we think about it from that perspective, and then we move to the next one, compliments. So someone gives you a compliment, and a lot of us, if not most of us, when someone says, oh, you look great in that dress, you know, the very next thing out of our mouth is, well, if I was 10 pounds lighter, it would look really good, you know, or, well, this isn't really my best color, but, you know, blah, 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 <laughs> you know, like, hey, that's so great that you got, you know, salesman of month. Yeah, but, you know, for the first four months of the year, I didn't sell anything. See, someone who loved themselves would just go, thank you very much. I appreciate your words. End of statement. So do you really love yourself? Are you healing addictions? Are you able to accept compliments? And then last, are you taking care of yourself on a daily basis through action, not just words? That proves that we really love ourselves. You know, are we, are we praying on a daily basis if spirituality or religion is important to us? Are we, everyone needs to be walking, exercising in the gym, taking care of ourselves physically. You know, are, if, if we have a problem with anger or we have a problem with low self-esteem, are you getting help for those things? See, self-care is everything. You know, are you eating on a regular basis good, healthy foods? Self-care is everything. That really proves we love ourselves. So think about these things. You know, think about what I'm talking to you about today, about looking at addictions and, and maybe even an addiction to love. Maybe you're in a relationship that's really abusive emotionally. Well, if you loved yourself, you'd be moving out of it. Or if you're in a relationship where that you're being physically abused, if you loved yourself, you'd be moving out of it. You'd be asking someone else for help. See, there's all kinds of ways that we can prove that we really love ourselves. And once we get on the path of self-love, it doesn't mean life is going to be a, a walk in the park, but it means that life will be more fulfilling. We'll feel better about ourselves from the heart level and everything else around us will start to shift. If I can help you at all to find a path to fall deeper in love with yourself, to let go of addictions, to find out what really is at the core that's holding you from being that outrageous person that you really are, that beautiful form of divinity that you are, contact me at talkdavid.com. That's talkdavid.com. And I would love to help you on your path and to fall back in love with yourself, the place that we all want to be. I'm David Essel. Have the most incredible day. Look forward to talking to you again.